Uh, the SABC News this afternoon, the newly crowned Comrades champion spoke to SABC Sports News senior sports reporter Tabi Sositole. Comrades champion, has it sunk in yet or you still wake up in cold shivers thinking 100 more meters to go, 100 more meters to go? I thank you, thank you for having me. Um, it's slowly but surely sinking in now. It's been an unbelievable couple of days after the Comrades Marathon on Sunday. Um, every morning I wake up and I wonder, was it all just a massive dream? But no, I think the reality is slowly but surely starting to sink in now. Uh, the training, my training this year has been going really, really well. Um, I'm still a young athlete and I'm, I've not been running for many, many years, but but um, my improvement has been quite rapid and um, even in the past year I've seen quite a lot of improvement and but yeah I, I think in my wildest dreams I didn't think that I would be sitting here today saying that I'm the Comrades champion also the record holder and running a time under six hours it's it's such an honor for me it's like a blank page for me um, when I was growing up I used to love sports I used to participate in as many sports as I possibly can but running certainly never stood out. Um, I was in a fairly small school and even there I never excelled in any form of running from short uh, distances to longer distances even though I enjoyed it and as I grew up um, it, I've always had an active, fairly active lifestyle. Uh, outdoor was also, um, I loved the outdoors uh, ever since I've, I was a child. I grew up on a farm so outdoor, playing outdoor, barefoot running, that was the way we, we went about life. Um, but it was only later on, after even starting a career in an uh, in, in uh, office job as a quantity surveyor, um, it was only later that I, that I realized that actually I've got this running talent and uh, a, a, an endurance system particularly that could maybe do something, that I could do something with. It's not over until it's over, especially on that race. Um, but as the race progressed, uh, when I got to the halfway mark, I looked at my watch and I saw that my time, my average pace that I've been maintaining is already on record pace and by then I've opened up a, a, fa a, a fairly comfortable gap between me and my other competitors so I had a good idea of what, would, what I could expect uh, for the end of the race but of course you're still only halfway in so a lot can still go wrong but I took all my fluids, I got it, uh, my Bank Running Club, I had support on the course so they handed me my energy drinks etc so um, but, but by halfway mark I, I thought I'll have to go for it. Can Gerdestein just nip under that? It doesn't really matter because I was all done on a down run anyway as Gerdestein becomes the first woman ever to run a comrades up run in under six hours. She's going to have the fourth fastest of all time. She is the champion but more than that she has broken not only Elena Nurgalieva's uprun record, she has broken so many records. Two Oceans and Comrades in the same year, we last saw that in 2015. But she has taken the record and become the first woman ever to run under six hours on the Comrades uprun. The question that a lot of people have been asking, where to from here? Uh, you've won the Comrades Marathon. Um, or we staying with ultras or we're going to say look maybe just do the big ones your Boston's your London's or is ultra still the one that's in your blood and the one you prefer doing for the marathon I, f I would admit I can admit um, I feel a little bit less pressured there um, I, the only pressure I have there is really the time that I put myself out and um, to try and reach the time that I that I want to run but there's definitely a lot less pressure for me on the marathon I think comrades is such a specialized race we prepare for that you become almost a comrade competitor whereas a marathon it's more international and it's worldwide and there's so many happening especially during the spring and the fall um, there's so many happening all around the world that I feel quite a bit less pressure for the marathon and I think it's a good thing it, it, it's a relaxed uh, way of looking at it and yes I can just almost enjoy it and see what I can do as an individual yeah. finally let's before we let you go the question is what have you learned in this race um, besides the winning besides walking home with the checks what is one learned what has had learned about herself Yes, there's certainly a lot that I've learned about myself and about life and about running. It, it's all, it, there's so many lessons that I can take from 
this race, but I think the big lesson that I learned started last year on Comrades. Um, I was second place, um, so I got a beautiful silver medal, and um, although I was very happy with my place and very thankful for the improvement I made compared to the year before, um, I, it left me unsatisfied. And I just said to myself that I won't give up. And I've had so I had so much support behind me. I had so much supporters who wanted me wanted to see me at the top of the podium and wanted me to succeed. And I just said to myself, I will carry on. I will keep trying. I will keep coming back until the day that I break that tape. And I've learned that it sometimes it just takes a little bit more perseverance and patience. And if you just put your mind to any to something, it is possible. But it takes all of you and then a little bit more.